Welcome to the spoken tutorial on access modifiers in Perl. In this tutorial, we will learn about scope of variables, private variables, dynamically scoped variables and global variables. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system, Perl 5.14.2 and the gedit text editor. You can use any text editor of your choice. You should have basic knowledge of Perl programming. If not, then go through the relevant Perl spoken tutorials on the spoken tutorial website. Let us start with the introduction to the scope of variables. The scope of a variable is the region of code within which a variable can be accessed. In other words, it refers to the visibility of variables. First, we will discuss about my, local and our modifiers in Perl. My means private variables. Local means dynamically scoped variables. Our means global variables. Variables declared with my keyword will lose scope outside the block in which they are declared. You can declare a variable without giving it a value like this my dollar f value semicolon you can also declare a variable by assigning a value to it as my dollar f value equal to 1 semicolon my dollar f name equal to within double quotes rahul semicolon the syntax to declare several variables with the same my statement is as follows my open bracket dollar f name comma dollar l name comma dollar h close bracket semicolon let us understand private variables using a sample program i already have a sample program let me open it in gedit text editor open the terminal and type gedit scope hyphen my dot pl ampersand and press enter. Scope hyphen my dot pl file is now open in gedit. Type the following code as displayed on the screen. Let me explain the code now. Here I have declared a private variable dollar f name with my keyword and assigned the value ragu to it. Within this block, the print statement prints the value in the f name variable that is ragu. In the next block, I have assigned the value other to the same private variable $f name. So, the print statement will print other within this particular block. The last print statement in this program will not print any output. This is because outside the scope of the blocks defined earlier, f name has no value assigned to it. Now, press Ctrl S to save the file. Let us now execute the program. Switch back to the terminal and type perl scope hyphen my dot pl and press enter. The output is displayed as block 1 ragu, block 2 other, outside block there is no output. So, the scope of the my variable is accessed only within a particular block of code. Now let us change the existing program a little. Let us add my dollar f name equal to within double quotes john semicolon outside the block before the last print statement. Save the changes. Switch back to the terminal and execute as before. Analyze the output that is displayed. Hope you are able to understand the scope of using my variable within a block and outside a block. Next, we will see about dynamically scoped variable in Perl. Local keyword gives a temporary scope to a global variable. The variable is visible to any function called from the original block. You can declare a local variable as 
local dollar f value equal to 100 semicolon local dollar f name equal to within double quotes rakesh semicolon let us understand this using a sample program open the terminal and type gedit scope hyphen local dot pl ampersand and press enter this will open scope hyphen local dot pl file in gedit type the following code as displayed on the screen let me explain the code now here in the first line we have declared a variable dollar f name and initialized it inside the function welcome we have declared a local variable by the same name dollar f name notice the local keyword before the variable name and we have assigned the value rockage to this variable so basically inside function welcome dollar f name is modified as a new temporary local variable then the function hello is being called here is a function definition of hello at the end of the program we are calling both the functions welcome and hello now press ctrl s to save the program let us execute the program switch back to the terminal and type perl scope hyphen local dot pl and press enter the output is displayed as hello rakesh hello welcome to spoken tutorials let us understand the output when the function welcome is called the function hello within it access the local variable within welcome dollar f name has the value rakesh after this the function hello access the variable dollar f name once again but this time it is the variable dollar f name which was initialized to welcome to spoken tutorials it does not access the local variable dollar f name within the function welcome which means that the local variable restores the scope after leaving the block welcome next we will see about global variables in Perl. A global variable can be accessed anywhere in the program. Global variables are declared with our keyword. Here are some examples. Our dollar $f value equal to 100 semicolon. Our dollar $f name equal to within double quotes Priya semicolon. Now let us look at a working example of global variables. Switch back to the terminal and type gedit scope hyphen our dot pl ampersand and press enter. This will open the file scope hyphen our dot pl in gedit. Let me explain the sample program which I have written. I have declared package main and a global variable as our dollar i and I have initialized it to 100. Notice the package first declaration. A package is a collection of code which has its own namespace. Namespace prevents variable name collisions between packages. We will see more about package and namespace in future tutorials. Within package first, the global variable i holds the value 10. In package second, the global variable i is assigned the value 20. The main package uses both package first variable and the package second variable. In my program, I have declared the same variable i in all the packages. The package variable is referred by package name colon colon variable name. In our example, it is dollar first colon colon i dollar second colon colon i we have multiple packages within one file and the global variable will be accessed by all the packages now save the file and execute the program so switch to terminal and type perl scope hyphen our dot pl and press enter the output is 
as displayed on the terminal. Analyze the output by yourself to understand how the assignment to the variable i was done. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn scope of variables, declaration of private variables, dynamically scoped variables, and global variables with examples. It is preferred to use my than local as the compilation is faster. Here is an assignment for you. Write the code for the following assignment and execute it. Declare a package as first module. Declare a variable $h as our and assign the value 42. Declare another package as second module. Declare a variable $h word as our and assign the value within double quotes 42. Declare a subroutine first. Inside the subroutine, declare two variables with local and my keyword as below. Local $h equal to 52 semicolon. My $h word equal to within double quotes 52 semicolon. Call another subroutine as result. Print the values of $h and $h word inside this function. End the subroutine. Declare the subroutine result. Again, print the values of $h and $h word. End the subroutine. Call the function first. Print the package first and package second as below. The video at the following link summarizes a spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.